Hey guys, I just got back from Rogue One, and of course I had to obviously give my review right now, so uh, sorry for the late video, but there it is. I'm sorry also if the screen is dark, I usually record during the day because of this. I don't have a living room lamp, but I'm going to do my best in my video editor to art up the brightness artificially. Uh, this is a spoiler free review so you're in a safe zone if you don't want to hear spoilers or if you haven't seen the movie yet uh, this is a safe zone for you don't worry I'm not gonna spoil uh, really anything uh, especially any of the big stuff but let's get into it first off I want to start with what I didn't like about it and then I'm gonna move into what I did like uh, the only thing I really didn't like about it was the fact that uh, the music I wasn't too big of a fan of Clone Wars went off and explored their own music and it worked for them uh, I feel like this movie I just couldn't get into the music it didn't really have that ma it didn't have that magical feel that uh, that John Williams does but nobody does but it just I don't know it didn't it didn't turn me the right way but other than that that that's pretty much my only negative and the slow start to the movie um, the movie did start slow but I feel like because of the way the middle and to end of the movie was I feel like the movie had to start slow um, but as far as everything else the characters the casting uh, all of that stuff I feel like definitely was was just top-notch perfect the characters were all unique they were all really 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 good and uh, definitely got attached to each of them except for the Imperial pilot he was the only one I couldn't get into but uh, other than him I mean the characters I got into every single one of them and they all were unique in their own way which just made me appreciate them more and made me really like the characters and get into them uh but Grand Moff Tarkin was oh, the recreation of him was amazing holy shit I felt like I was looking straight into the uh original uh trilogy one I was totally fuck I was just like they they recreated that perfectly I was like I feel like I'm gonna be able to like see through it or I feel like I'm gonna I feel like I'm going to be able to tell uh, the CGI and the uh, projector that they used to make him to use that same actor, even though he wasn't really playing him. Uh, I feel like I felt like I was going to be able to kind of tell, but no, he it was per it felt like it was the same actor again, uh, like really playing him, not dead. <laughs> um, but no, uh, Rogue One was great. The story, the plot. Um, I really love Chinua Inoue. Was probably my favorite character. I don't know why. I just he was just so i don't know he just represented like he was so spiritual in a way and that's not really why i loved him it was just he was a badass number one and he was blind uh but he just he was the guardian of uh the kyber crystal temples uh back on jita which is like one of the last remaining places for the jedi like all the jedi statues are there granted they're knocked over and in the ground and stuff but uh all the jedi statues are there that's where uh saw guerrera is and everything like that so um it was it was cool to see that planet and see him and Baze, the last guardians of those of those temples and everything before the Empire showed up. Uh, I don't know. I feel like they really had a very like deep connection with the past we know of the Jedi and stuff like that. It just Chinuit represented that for me. Uh, the old the Jedi and all of that. I felt like he was that bridge to connect you to this movie. Uh, and still have some sense of the force in this movie and stuff like that. So uh, I really loved him as a character, and and definitely he was he was just badass too. Uh, that those martial arts, holy crap! Um, Saw Gerrera wasn't really in the movie too much, so can't really say too much about him without spoiling you know what what his role was in all of that. But he wasn't in the movie too much, uh, and I kind of expected that to be honest. Um, Darth Vader scenes were amazing. I'm so glad james Earl jones in in uh star wars rebels he sounded to me kind of off i don't know what it was but his voice just didn't sound like the original trilogy anymore and i was just knocking it off due to old age or whatever you want to call it but um no it just turned out in in this movie he was just like the original trilogy i guess he just needed more uh higher budget <laughs> i guess that's all it required mm -hmm. but no he he sounded perfect and we got to see sides of him that we have not seen before so that was exciting and i knew that was going to happen uh but no I, we just got to see some really 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 dark and cool sides of vader even in the short time he was he had a really short screen time and i'm wondering if that had anything to do with the reshoots and because it was too dark at first and stuff like that um i really do think that they took a lot of darth vader scenes away from him maybe battle scenes and stuff like that where it might have been too on edge for Disney but but it's okay I promise you 
I think people will still love the scenes that Vader was in. I think people will still enjoy it and and like it, especially not seeing what exactly was cut from the movie. I think people will still be impressed because it's still going to be something you have never seen from Darth Vader before in any of the original trilogies. So um, definitely that. Uh, I liked all the different planets in the movie. And uh, I think this, this movie really hit a strong point of getting you to attached to these characters and getting you to understand their backstories where they come from and why they do what they do for the rebel alliance and stuff like that not really the side of like why they hate the empire but more just the side of why they actually believe in the rebel alliance and stuff like that i feel like this movie does a really 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 good job at uh showing you that for these characters and i just i think the movie was amazing like i said it didn't pick up action wise until mid to end of the movie but i think like I said, for the way the mid to end of the movie was, I think that that actually fit better because I think it it worked for the way the movie was. So I'm just going to leave it at that. But um, all of the characters were just amazing, and that was definitely the highlight of it. And there was a lot of Easter eggs. Like, Bail Organa was in this movie, and there's Easter eggs to him referencing Obi-Wan Kenobi and uh, Princess Leia, stuff like that. Um, and there were a couple other Easter eggs, like the Jedi Temple and the Kyber Crystals. Uh, those were pretty cool Easter eggs, and then uh, it was a great movie. Like I said, slow at first, so give it a chance. Know that it will pick up if you start getting like bored <laughs> at the beginning, or if you start like you know feeling like they're repeating some stuff. I felt like the beginning was maybe just a tad too heavy on on uh, some of the emotional moments, and I felt like some of the beginning could have been cut to make a little bit more room for action, but. I mean, it's still, like I said, they, they did good at getting you attached to the characters, and I think that's really all that matters for this movie. And they did a good job at showing you, like, the Rebel Alliance isn't perfect either. They did a good job at showing the strife in the Rebel Alliance and showing that, uh, you know, the Rebel Alliance doesn't always do the best of things either, like the best of choices. They don't necessarily... They aren't these heroes that do all good and, you know just look out for every single person they they have their moments where they might have orders that are that are really bad or really dark just like you would think of the empire this movie does a really good job at showing that there's not too much of a different line between the rebel alliance and the empire it really does do a good job at showing that so uh props to this movie it did a good job of of filling in the events before episode four it definitely and from the moment the credits roll uh, to episode four, you can literally link this movie straight to it. Literally, just it rolls right into episode four. Um, so that that was pretty cool too. So, um, like I said, the characters were great, and I think they were the highlight of the movie. So when you watch it, keep that in mind that the characters are the highlight of the movie, not really the action parts. Especially for the first like the half hour, forty five minutes of this movie. You definitely want to keep that in mind. But the Scarif battle was definitely worth it. And it was pretty pretty long, too. It wasn't anything by any means. It wasn't a short battle. And it definitely, the space battle had some Return of the Jedi influences in it, you could tell. So uh, other than that, I want to know what the reshoots had for Darth Vader. But I hope they come out with like a director's cut or something like that. Something where I can see exactly what it was going to be. Um, other than that, though, I mean... It's a great movie. Definitely different, like I said. Definitely, definitely, definitely different than your typical Star Wars movie. A little bit more drama-ish. Uh, K2SO is definitely the com comedic relief of this movie. But uh, overall, definitely a little more emotional. Definitely a little more drama than action comedy like it was in the original trilogy. So uh, I still recommend it. I think people will enjoy it. I think people will definitely, definitely love it. There's aspects for everybody. I mean, the, the end had a ton of action to make up for if you're someone that didn't really care about the character development or plot or any of that. The, the action definitely makes up for it. And then if you care about the plot and the character development, that's the first half of the movie, too. So um, I think they did a good job at balancing those two for the most part. So like I said, only problem is the music. That's my spoiler free review. I hope you guys see it. And when you do see it, remember to let me know exactly what you think or let me know what you saw that I might not have caught or that I might not have talked about in my spoiler review that you wanted me to touch on. And I'll touch on it again in the comments. I'm going to re-see this movie in about a week and a half, two weeks. So if I notice anything different when I re-watch it, I'll let you guys know. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.